So I like to divide uh, the type of HPP patients I see into phenotype. And I would say the most common phenotype is what I term the pain phenotype, which is widespread musculoskeletal pain, uh, often muscle, often bone, often presenting with very significant fatigue. The second type of patient is a more typical metabolic bone disease patient that might present with a fracture, often a poorly healing metatarsal fracture, or even a atypical femur fracture, and have low bone mass. Another type of patient that a rheumatologist might see would be uh, rheumatologic manifestations, including calcific periarthritis or chondrocalcinosis with pseudogout, often in the knees. So I think the two very common misdiagnoses in patients who have HPP are one, fibromyalgia. We all have patients with fibromyalgia or widespread pain in our practice. The other common misdiagnosis is to diagnose an HBP patient with run-of-the-mill osteoporosis. Once a patient is diagnosed with HPP, I think we'll find and see that the patient has uh, sometimes very significant decline in the ability to do activities of daily living. So their quality of life is significantly affected it's important to recognize those patients and to refer them to uh, an appropriate uh, HPP specialist, somebody with experience in the disease and in the treatment of the disease.